What's up guys? Today we're checking out Fortnite and the reason for that is they've added uh, the, a big update. It's now up to season 5. It's on 5.0 and everything. They put out a bunch of patch notes and something that a lot of people noticed on the Switch version it now has gyro controls which is something that people have been asking for for a while now and it seems like Epic uh, heard people and they added it in. So you can use gyro controls with the Joy-Con controllers whether they're split or in the grip. Uh, or you can use it with the Pro Controller. Now we're going to do both configurations here. I have my uh, two Joy-Con controllers here. We're going to start with those. And then we're also going to jump over to using the Pro Controller so we can kind of get a look at, uh, I guess, I guess either either end of it. So here we go. We're going to settings. And I'm going to show you kind of how this works. You have your sensitivity controls, obviously. And now you have motion sensitivity, uh, whether it's uh, you can do just straight up motion sensitivity, motion targeting sensitivity, which is the controls when in ADS, or the scope sensitivity. I noticed my scope sensitivity when I was playing it. A little high, I'm actually gonna turn it down to like 0.25, I think. Um, everything else was pretty good, I think. I'll turn that down to 0.35, do the same there. Uh, so I'm I turned it down a bit because when I, I've been kind of playing around with it, trying to figure out a good setting for it, and I think we're gonna turn it down a little bit, definitely for scoped. When I zoomed in for scoped mode, which I like that you can, by the way, kind of change up all the sensitivity. That's cool. That's a whole new, that's a whole like another thing that Epic's doing. They, they've done a lot to quickly uh, do some work with Fortnite on the Switch. We're a new 50v50. I'm gonna jump in here and play and try this out. Now, I'm not the best with gyro controls. I don't prefer them at all. Believe it or not, I'm not a big gyro control person. But I do at least, uh, I've done some research on how to, how to actually use them. People said I've used them wrong before in the past with Doom. So uh, from what I've seen, you use the right stick still just to kind of do big sweeping motions to kind of look around. And then you use the gyro to kind of uh, fine tune your aim. So you can kind of see here I'm moving a bit. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty uh, responsive. I do know, obviously, with something like Splatoon, uh, Splatoon 2, it's 60 frames. It, it's better with gyro because there's, it's just smoother, obviously. So I get that. Uh, oh, by the way, Fortnite's changed quite a bit. You can see all the way in that, on that top left there, it's, uh, it's added like this desert area now, which is pretty cool. They've, they've done some changes to the map. We're going to jump out here in a minute. Um, and we're just going to kind of see where everyone's going. That's in my group. 50v50 is cool because, of course, there's just a lot of stuff then on the, on, on the ground level. There's a lot of uh, legendary weapons and everything, and then everybody just kind of converges and, and shoots each other. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. 50v50 is pretty fun. Um, we're actually already down three, though, whether people quit out already or, or they managed to somehow die beforehand. I don't know. A lot of times people disconnect or, they, or something happens. You know, there, there's a hundred people, so more than likely something's going to happen to people. Anyway, let's get down to the ground level here and try to do some aiming with motion controls and kind of see how that works out with the split Joy-Con. Uh, so let's grab this. And you can right away see it, it's a little shaky, right, with what I'm doing here. Um, and that might be more sensitivity stuff you have to work with. It doesn't have a massive move with the sensitivity that I have. But again, I believe the idea is to use the right stick and then kind of do some fine tuning as you get closer to people. Um, with the auto aim on and everything, it should hopefully all kind of add up to having just a better uh, experience when it comes to aiming. So you can see there it does pretty well. I have noticed that if I have to readjust, you get very shaky, as you see there. I, I think it's better with the Pro Controller than doing Split Joy-Con, or probably have this in uh, like the grip, because it's just more stable, obviously. You can kind of kind of hold it with both hands and make sure it doesn't kind of go all over the place. Because if I just start moving, you can see how it starts to shake. Um, but... It definitely works better when uh, you're using the right stick and then use the gyro controls to kind of, oh, there we go, to kind of uh, to kind of fine tune your aim. And I, it's pretty cool to get this pretty, I mean, how, how people were asking about it as soon as it showed up on the Switch, which was an E3, and they already have gyro controls in here. So that was very, very fast. They've done voice chat, they've done gyro controls, and they've done it in, in a matter of a couple of updates. So... Epic's on their game. They, they really are. They, they know this game makes a lot of money, and it seems like they're putting a lot of money into the development and update of this game. So it's, it's, it's pretty good to see if you're a fan of Fortnite, Epic's putting some work in. So I pretty much started out in the circle, and I have to wait for people to show up because <laughs> there's, there's another eight minutes before the storm completely closes to the circle. So it's going to be a lot of me kind of waiting for people to show up at this point. But I guess I'll keep looking around for you know weapons as they'll have these supply drops that happen. Uh, you can kind of see them right there. There's a couple of them actually showing up now. 
and we should get some good weapons. I kind of want to get a sniper so we can check out the scoped part, obviously, because the sensitivity is different in scoped than it is in, uh, yeah, I'm going to run to that, than it is just regular kind of sweeping around like this. So that's kind of what I want to do. I want to get, I want to get a scoped weapon. Hopefully we can get one here and I can kind of check out sensitivity there as well. Oh, there we go. We got a scoped assault rifle here. So that's, that's good to start with. We got that. Uh, there's a campfire, bouncer, we'll take the bouncer, and definitely we'll take shields as well, absolutely, we'll take shields. Let's actually get the shields going now. It's a scoped assault rifle, so it's not like a, like a sniper or anything, but it should still give us a, a look at how the... Oh, nice thermal too, very good. So it definitely changes a bit, because I do have it changed up a bit for when it's scoped in. Obviously, I, I moved it down to 0.25. So I like that, that's one of the better things about this so far from what I've seen. I hope maybe other games that get into that, that do use gyro controls, do the same thing where you can kind of play around with the settings depending on the scenario of where you're aiming, whether it's in scoped or even if it's free and then it's like, uh, then it's just looking around. That's actually a really cool uh, bit of customization. I don't recall seeing many other places for gyro. So once again, Epic is, uh, they're on their game. Oh, I got him. There we go. Uh, it's easier, I guess, with... We got him. Cool. Uh, it's, it's, it is a bit easier. I, I've noticed I'm kind of shaky with it when I'm shooting because I'm pulling the trigger. And, uh, when I, when I pull down the trigger, I, I notice that I do kind of, uh... Oh, no, there's people there. Uh, I do notice that I kind of move the right Joy-Con as I pull the trigger. Again, that might be a sensitivity thing. Maybe changing the sensitivity will help that. But that's, that's definitely a bit of an issue. I, I'm wondering how it is with the Pro Controller. I might, whoa, I might go to, oh, these guys are, these guys are rolling around in a, um, that's not good. Rolling around in a golf cart. Oh no. But I do notice that uh, I'm having, a, the, the thing about that is when I pull the trigger, I notice that I shake the Joy-Con. See how I'm kind of doing that now? I'm not, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm obviously, I'm down. But uh, I noticed that when I, you can kind of see that. I'm, I'm wondering, we're going to switch over to the Pro Controller now. I'm wondering if it's easier if I hold it together and like even the grip maybe, right? Like if I can do that, it'll, I don't know what these people are doing. No one's, no one's coming to help me. I don't know if that's easier to, uh, to kind of hold it steady when you pull the trigger, but we'll find out. I'm actually going to jump over because I don't think anyone's going to come help me anyway. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll jump over to the Pro Controller and see how that helps. So in a shocking twist, they actually came and helped me out and he dropped me a med kit. Oh, you're all right. Um, I don't know who he is, but you're you're all right, guy. Thanks for that. So I guess I'll still try to change over to the Pro Controller mid-game, and we'll see if that even works. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, and hopefully it uh, it's a little easier, maybe a little more steady. Also, I didn't have these in the grip, so I don't usually play games separately like this. And uh, I don't think Fortnite's designed very well to do that. Let's let's jump over to that Pro Controller. All right, so I was able to... Oh, there, I, there we go. I was able to jump over to the Pro Controller mid-game. Pretty cool. Um, I had to, I had to just jump, just get out of the game and go to obviously change grip order and, and that was fine. Um, so now I'm using the Xenoblade Pro Controller and you can see kind of how you move. It's easier to move up and down. I've noticed that with the gyro than left and right. It's, it's definitely easier to move up and down. I'm still getting kind of a bit of a shake to it, uh, which might be fixable with obviously the, there we go, with, uh, with, with the sensitivity options but I am still getting a bit of, uh, of shaking there. So I might play around with the sensitivity settings a bit more. It just, like I said, just all just came out today and it's gonna take some time to get used to it. And it's gonna take some time to get the settings kind of to where I want them. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's see if we can find someone else. I think I've only have one elimination now. Um, and then I got knocked down once, but uh, one guy helped me. So that was nice of him. So let's, let's see where everyone's going here and we'll see if we can get some, some more, uh, some more interaction with some of the enemies and see if we can knock them down. There's still 20 people left on their team, 19 now, and we're to the point now where the storm is pretty much closed in. So we're probably going to start getting a lot of people around now and we'll see how we can do kind of with, I guess, the gyro controls in scoped for this thermal. Which, the thermal is awesome, by the way. Um, that's, it's, it's an awesome weapon. I also have this, this really nice scar. Has no scope, though. So we'll see how that goes. But we are at least up by about 15, so that's pretty good. I think people, I think we've pretty much found some of the, uh, so start taking, I guess, some of their buildings out just to help with support. Oh, he's all the way over there now. Man, this is the thing about Fortnite. I've noticed this a lot. It turns into a lot of building. Like, you end up just building things constantly, right? Oh, I'm getting shot. Okay, got him. Got him. Run, 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 run. So we got one of them, at least. 
There we go, okay. The, okay, so I did slightly use the... Oh man, we gotta help this guy up. I did slightly use the gyro controls there. There we go, we got him. Alright, we're good. Uh, just slightly. I, I did a little bit of fine-tuning. It was... I don't know if it was part of the auto-aim helping as well, all at once. But it definitely did help a bit. I don't have grenades, too. Uh, it helped a little bit. Um, again, though, I, I'm definitely more used to using the sticks than anything else. But I used kind of the sticks and I kind of uh, corrected a bit looking up and down. But I didn't really do a lot when it came to left and right for that. So I, I think that's kind of how I would approach this and use it. More for up and down. The other nice thing about uh, the gyro controls is you can jump and look around at the same time because obviously you have to take your hand off of the right stick when you when you jump, right? But in this case, you can you can kind of jump and look at the same time. If you notice, they're shooting at people. Uh, you can you can jump and look around at the same time like this. There we go. Okay, one. So that's one really good benefit to using the gyro controls as opposed to using the sticks is you do have that advantage. It was something I remember in Halo we we ended up mapping jumping to to bumpers way back in the day. We call, it was called bumper jumper. That was before they even added it. I think as like a as like an option for controls, we would just map it. I don't even think they called it bumper jumper back then, uh, <laughs> and that's that's just how it was online. So that's a, that's one big advantage. If you get used to the gyro controls, you can jump and kind of look around. So you could technically jump over somebody if you're fighting them and look down at the same time and shoot them, which, which is obviously a big advantage. Obviously on PC, they've been doing that for a while because they can jump and look at the same time. But having gyro, which is probably the closest you're going to get to mouse support on a console, this is pretty, pretty good. So yes, good job to Epic. It does work, I think, well enough. They'll probably continue to work on it in the background, kind of fine tune it here and there as well. I like the three options for sensitivity where you can change between kind of free look. Uh, I, th I think uh, uh, look down the sights and then, um, and then uh, obviously scope mode. It's, it's pretty cool to have all those options. And there you go, guys. People were asking a lot. Yes, gyro controls are now in Fortnite, and I think they they're at least uh, passable now, and they'll just continue to work on them. I'm not a big gyro guy, but I understand people wanted them, and they work well enough. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you guys hit the like button, dislike it if you did not, and I'll see you guys in the next video.